Hello, my name is Joanne Trafalis and I work for the Athens Institute for Education and Research, which is a world association for academics and researchers. We have started a new initiative of interviewing the participants which attend the many conferences in Athens to present their work. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Margarita Mori, professor at the University of L'Aquila in Italy. Hello, Dr. Mori. Welcome to Athens. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, uh, it's my pleasure being here in Athens. It's my first time ever. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for this interview. Thank you for being here. So I would like to start with your presentation at our conference. You present your paper, Pursuing Sustainability in the Euro Mediterranean Area, the Role of Agricultural Finance. Tell us a few words about it. Yeah, when I uh, decided to attend this conference, uh, um, I tried to focus uh, on a um, subject uh, that could be um, of interest uh, to Greece and mm -hmm. to my country. That's why I wrote this paper. It's an explorative uh, paper, a conceptual paper. And uh, my, my goal was to focus on uh, sustainable agriculture and sustainable finance. The result uh, is, uh, um, um, is uh, um, uh, an overview of the role that uh, uh, agricultural finance can play in order to um, try to solve some of uh, today's problems. Mm -hmm. Uh, finance uh, uh, can help uh, uh, to uh, uh, reach uh, a, a higher level of uh, managerial criteria in uh, agribusiness. Uh, um, Deep-rooted uh, deep problems uh, remain. Uh, uh, many firms are undersized. Um, most, most of them are owned and operated by families. So financial management does not uh, display its potential and I think that there is much room for improvements in this, uh, in this area. Okay, thank you. So tell us a few words about yourself, your studies, your career. Yeah, uh, I was born in Italy. Mm -hmm. All my studies uh, in my country were taken in Rome and I completed them back in 1980 mm -hmm. uh, at the university that's now called La Sapienza in Rome. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, uh, it was my desire to uh, study abroad too and mm -hmm. that's why I applied to uh, some uh, foreign governments uh, to get some grants, uh, scholarships mm -hmm. and in fact I studied in um, Denmark, Spain, Hungary mm -hmm. and okay. finally I spent uh, two years uh, in the United States uh, where I took my Master in Business Administration. Mm -hmm. It was 1983, mm -hmm. uh, so much time ago. Um, when I came back home uh, from the States, um, my search for a suitable uh, job took me to work uh, to uh, to work for a, an insurance company and for a well-known uh, bank. But my dream was to teach mm -hmm. at the university. So mm, I tried hard and finally uh, I got my academic career started in 1988. Mm -hmm. I worked uh, for a university in, in Cassino, then another one in Lecce and finally at the University of L'Aquila. So it's 28 years now that I teach and do my research work at Italian universities and this has been a challenging and rewarding mm -hmm. period. Um, I'm proud to say that I was involved in many international activities um, and, have been, and uh, I've been for four years now uh, the scientific coordinator of a, a cooperative agreement with the Kazakh University. Uh, so, um, I had the chance uh, to um, teach in Kazakhstan too, oh, nice. and as well as in other universities in the world. Very nice. Yeah. So what is your current major area of research? 
um, well, uh, my um, broad area of interest is finance, mm -hmm. but of course it needs to be better defined. Um, my um, specific interest uh, uh, has to do with uh, cross-cultural issues that have something to do with finance. Mm -hmm. um, and especially um, where uh, financial innovation uh, is involved. Uh, my goal, my approach uh, is to uh, bridge the gap between theory and practice uh, and um, uh, more in more recent years uh, I have uh, done my research work about uh, um, uh, agricultural finance, uh, about uh, the financial issues uh, in that have to do with real estate markets uh, and uh, um, some legal aspects uh, of financial contracts. Okay. So what is the role of agricultural finance in Greece and Italy? Are they similar and do you think that they could actually solve the economical issues that we're facing? Um, well, uh, the role uh, of uh, agricultural finance uh, um, uh, uh, needs to be better exploited, mm -hmm. both in Italy and I guess in, in mm -hmm. Greece. Uh, there is much potential that still needs to be explored mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, that much can be done uh, in this field uh, by academics and practitioners alike. Uh, as far as academics, I think they can do much in order to promote education in agricultural finance. And also let me think about uh, a network of universities in the Euro-Mediterranean area that uh, uh, can uh, work together, that can cooperate in order to uh, improve uh, the applications of uh, um, agricultural finance. Okay. Thank you. So how were you introduced to Adner and what made you attend the conference? I was lucky. You were lucky? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, last September I received a kind email mm -hmm. by Adner's president, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dr. Um, Panikos. Gregory yes. yeah, Panikos. Um, who told me about uh, upcoming conferences. Mm -hmm. uh, it took me just a few moments uh, to, um, uh, to surf uh, the uh, uh, website mm -hmm. uh, and I was impressed by uh, the varieties of conferences, mm -hmm. uh, by uh, the um, uh, transparencies. I mean, I mean the, the website was uh, very was complete, mm -hmm. uh, very clear, and I immediately decided uh, to participate in this conference. And by the way, I will come back in May oh, uh, nice. yes, to uh, participate in another conference. Very nice. So uh, I'm very, very happy to be here, and mm -hmm. uh, I like the idea of the conference hotel. Mm -hmm. And I would like to add that uh, it's uh, uh, the, the timing of uh, this conference was simply perfect, uh, very close to uh, Christmas vacation yes. and so it was easy for me to take uh, a couple of days off. Yes, so you combined it, yes. so you can also see Athens, yes? Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> nice. So what is the status of the educational system in Italy and what do you think are the advantages and what do you think are the disadvantages since you've been to other educational systems? Uh, yeah, um, uh, Italy's educational system is under renovation mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, modernized um, as in many other countries. Mm -hmm. um, the, I think uh, uh, the challenges I had include uh, digital skills uh, and uh, internationalization. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, advantages uh, encompass the um, fact that uh, we have uh, a state level education mm -hmm. um, that's open to everybody and um, 
the costs are quite limited. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, private uh, institutions, uh, uh, private universities. Um, the, um, new, uh, the new approach uh, uh, is, uh, um, has had some good effects, uh, good results uh, in uh, recent uh, years. We also have, um, uh, we now have more courses uh, in English mm -hmm. and also uh, foreign universities, especially American universities mm -hmm. in Italy and in Rome, especially, that offer their courses. Um, so I think uh, we have uh, many challenges ahead mm -hmm. and um, the situation is getting even better now. Thank you very much. It was very nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot.